The Art of Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson. The little things are big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other the atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for the things of the spirit. It is, it is a common search for the beautiful. It is establishing a relationship in which independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. This is the art of marriage. We're gathered here in the sight of God and these witnesses to unite Josh and Alex in holy matrimony. The Unity Cross will be displayed in their home following the ceremony as a reminder of this wedding and the union they share. I, Josh, take you, Alex. I, Alex, take you, Josh. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For church or for Sickness or in health. To love and cherish. For death do us part. For death do us part. And here too, I pledge you my faithfulness. And here too, I pledge you my faithfulness. <laughs> Very good. Alex with this ring, I do wed. Josh with this ring, I do wed. By the authority invested in me as the minister of the gospel, I pronounce day husband and wife together in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Those that God has joined together, let no man asunder. Josh, you may kiss your bride. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, So I'm going to end my speech with a quote from Michael Scott. Webster's Dictionary defines wedding as a fusing of two metals with a hot torch. Well, you know something? You guys are both two metals. Gold medals. So cheers to the gold medals. <laughs> you guys are awesome together, and, and I hope you guys have so much fun. And it, it goes by fast, and then boom, you're going to have two girls. Uh, so because I had the boys. Because that's one of the first memories that I have of Josh being in my house. Them dancing at night after they put their drunk ass friend to sleep. <laughs> and he's just always been so kind and considerate. He brings out the best in her. I think she brings out the best in him. And I, you're looking at something that not as only is gonna last, but it's just gonna get better with time. But I'm just so excited to be a part of this day and to be here with you guys. And you two can be a better couple. Thank you guys, everybody, for coming. Here and join the evening with us, and uh, yeah, let's have some fun. Let's enjoy the evening.